Hey guys, welcome back to Tasteful Travels. It's a super cold day in New York City, so we're grabbing some curry, Japanese curry to be exact. This is one of three different locations that we're gonna be doing for three top best Japanese curry spots in New York City. It's great weather right now for something warm. We were thinking ramen, but why not just do something else in the Japanese category? Let's do some curry, guys. Guys, so we're inside of Korea. The place is beautiful. It's very homey. We ordered some Japanese curry. I got the chicken katsu. Um, Jay got the pork, Berkshire pork katsu. It's nice in here. The music is a little loud, but it's cozy in here nonetheless. It's very warm as well from it being cold outside. The posters are really cute too. We also got some things here, some toppings. It's pickled vegetables. Hi, how are you? And we also have, these are pickled onions, guys. The smell is very delicious, wow. All right, guys, so we got a baked with cheese croquette. Just arrived. Oh my God, it looks delicious. It looks super good. It's got curry on it. Let's try this. Mm. Wow. The curry has such a very delicious taste. A very it's great. The cheese is a little bit hard to pull. I wish it was maybe a little bit more baked. But the potato itself, like you can see here, that's nice. You gotta try this. You gotta try this. You know what it is, right? Yeah. You guys gotta try this. So our food has arrived guys. It's in this cast iron skillet because it was baked. It looks super delicious. This egg on top looks incredible as well. Oh, oh my god. Should I just dig in? Oh my god guys, look at that. You guys gotta see it. Oh my god. The smell is so beautiful. Let's do this. Mm. Amazing! It's perfect for this weather. A chicken katsu is incredible. It is not crispy because of the cheese, obviously, and the curry sauce. But the flavor is so beautiful. Wow. Incredible. Mm. Mm. Let's try it with some toppings here, some pickled veggies. I love these, by the way. They add such a great crunch to it. It just gives it like a little like punch of flavor. Full bite, guys. Full bite. Delicious, guys. 
Delicious. I got the pork katsu curry. I also got it the same the same way Sway got it, but I got mine with pork because I love pork. She loves chicken. So guys, so I'm about to try it. But come in, come in. Just cook, just get in. Getting a little bit closer. A little bit closer here to in the action. Guys, this smells fantastic. The one thing that I could tell you about Japanese curry that's so much different than any other type of curry is the way it smells and the way it tastes is really particular really particular curry and this one i guarantee you is gonna be amazing all right guys i'm gonna begin i'm gonna i'm gonna start with in the center i'm gonna heat up that yolk i'm gonna have it rain on this parade oh my god come on come on yeah let's do that let's pop that baby up oh my god let's take a huge bite to begin with I bet she's gonna be hot, but I don't care. Yeah. All right, guys, we're first by of Japanese curry here, curry ja. Oh, let's go for it. Mm. Mm. Oh my god! I don't know what they're doing here, but they're doing it right. Yo, you gotta come here when you're in. When you're in New York, come here. Look at the rice, look at the bottom there. The other one was really hot. I'm gonna blow on this one. All right, cheesy. The egg yolk adds a fantastic creaminess to the whole unit. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I wish I had more curry sauce on it. I just wanna bathe in that curry sauce. That's how good it is. I guarantee you that if these pieces of pork weren't cut into pieces, I would enjoy it more. Because I like actually cutting that pork. And I feel because they already pre-cut it for you, you don't, you don't see the pork as much. But it's there. Believe me, it's there. I got a couple of big chunks of pork. But they were fantastic. Tender. Juicy. I'm not going to forget about you babies right here. The one thing about this is it helps with the texture. Because this offer you such a crunch and believe me it's fantastic all right guys i'm gonna finish this up and after this we're gonna heat up another japanese curry location here in your city please don't go away stay sit down wherever you are grab some snacks because we eating here in new york city all right guys so for our next stop we're in Koreatown in the Herald Square part. We're going to be eating at a Biko Curry on this right here. The reason why we chose this as our next spot is because this is the only spot out of our three choices that give you more than just rice for your curry dish. So let's go check it out, guys. All right, guys, so now we're inside. It's very bright, even though it's dark, even though the walls are black. It's very beautiful and cozy in here, though. The music is a little bit loud, but it is very nice. So what I ordered, guys, was the creamy pasta with the chicken katsu and the melting cheese on top. I also got some green onions and fried garlic. Jay got the pork set with the pork curry katsu with the rice. What's really unique about this place is that I saw it when we were filming the Food Gallery 32, which is crazy because where we did the sweet churro video, it's right across the street from us, like right there. Might have to grab some dessert there. If you haven't seen that video, check it out, guys. All right, guys, so. We're here at Obiko Curry and we just got the fantastic curry here. Look at this, it just arrived. I have the, cur uh, the pork curry katsu set. This comes with pork katsu. So if you can see the pork katsu right here, it's crispy, nice, just freshly made. I like that it comes also with pork also on the curry sauce. And it comes with some 
some onions it has some green onions right here and some garlic right here on the side it comes with a side of what i think is pickle radish uh like spicy radish i like um uh, like a light miso or or it seems like a some kind of soup one of the best parts guys is that the utensils like the spoons to eat are right here on the side come around here on the side check this out bam so this opens up and from here i'm gonna get my spoon i can also get a couple of napkins right here to keep them on the side because it's gonna be a little messy too so guys bam now we got a spoon so i'm gonna start digging in let's first look around how the curry looks the curry looks really delicious it looks it looks creamy it looks very oily but let's have it a taste let's have it a taste just the curry all right cheers guys my first taste of a big good curry all right guys when you come here to obico and you are not as certain about the spice in the level tell them to give you the medium and you go from there because i asked for the spicy and i can tell you it's spicy let's go for a bite with the pork and some of these delicious it's like fried garlic that they put on top and some of the rice as well so let's go for a big bite for monster bite now we're gonna decide if this is good or not all right guys cheers we're gonna go for this big bite mm. Mm. one thing i can tell you is it is spicy but when you combine this with the pork with the rice it all works together very well super flavorful super super creamy and crunchy from the pork katsu i wish i could give you a taste of this right now this is amazing guys. i'm gonna try with a little bit of this onion i'm gonna try one last bite before we show you what sway got coming for you so let's go for a bite with a little bit of the onions the other piece of katsu we're gonna go for a huge monster by this time guys Oh, we're here in New York City eating Japanese curry. Cheers. Mm. Mm. So good, guys. So good. Wow. Wow, I had like a couple of pieces of the garlic there. And it was super garlic and delicious. Mm. Now we're going to show what Sway got coming right now. All right, guys. So I got the creamy pasta set with the uh, chicken katsu. I also added cheese to the pasta. I'm excited. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. I am so excited to try this. That is spicy, that is delicious, that is fragrant. The sauce is so thick, but so silky, like so perfect. So that we, I also got these uh, cream cheese croquettes. Mm. Amazing. amazing guys, amazing. I'm gonna try the chicken katsu and some of these noodles. And then I got like some sort of like Oh yeah. That was good. I need to that. I like Amazing. I cannot describe another word, but amazing. And then 
I know you said yours was a little spicy, but I think mine's just perfect on the spice. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. It's a little bit more, but it's good. The chicken katsu is super crispy. It's very... Very good. I enjoy it. I'm tearing up. It's so good. My nose is burning. My burgers are coming out. Oh. This is really spicy. I love it. I love it. All right, so we're gonna finish this up, and we're gonna go to our third and final spot for curry. All right, guys. So we are now in the garment district for our final stop of this curry tour. We're on 38th Street and 8th Avenue. Traffic is crazy. It's rush hour right now, and we're gonna chow down at Go Go Curry right here, guys. I'm super excited to try this just as I was for the other ones. But this, I don't know, something about the pictures, it makes me just want to try it even more. Guys, remember, if you guys have any recommendations for other curry spots, let us know. We'll probably do a part two of this video. Who knows? All right, guys, let's go in. So now we're inside. It's super cozy, but like more bright in here. It's very Japanese inspired as well. There are a lot of, they have a lot of different posters around. I wish it would have been the 15th or the 25th because it's Pogo Day here, which means you get free uh, coupon for topping, a free topping coupon. The music is really nice in here too. The ambience is very bright. The light bulbs are very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, our food's ready, guys. Ooh, thank you. Oh my God, this looks delish. All right, guys, so we just got our food. I got the chicken katsu with the shredded cheese underneath and I got the corn as one of the toppings. There's also some cabbage here. Looks delish, oh man. And we also got a calpico as well. You know, my favorite thing to just drink. Let's try this guys. The sauce looks amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow, that curry has such a rich flavor. It is, oh my God, wow. Let me get some rice, let me try to get some, oh yeah. Wow. Mm. The sauce is very thick. It's very creamy though. The flavor is very like a porky flavor. It's very delicious. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a full bite now with everything. And I'm gonna add some of these. Okay, full bite guys. Let's go for it, full bite. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. Uji, the Fuku Jinzuke, which is the classic curry topping. It's so crispy, so refreshing. It just, it goes perfect with this curry. It needs it, the curry needs it. The corn adds that crunch for me. That's why I guess why I added that extra topping. And then the cabbage, 
it just it's just cabbage, you know? I guess maybe a little bit mixed well. Might taste a little better. Overall, I think this is, wow, this is a hit. I love it. This is delish. Mm. That's amazing. I love it. The chicken katsu is perfect. The crisp on that is perfect. If abiko curry would have had the crisp on this chicken the same way, I think it would have been even better because that pasta, that creamy pasta was amazing. Want to try some calpico, guys? It's so refreshing. So clean. Love it. Oh, I love it. All right, now we're going to see what Jay's got. Hi right, guys, so now it's my turn. And as you can see, I got a big bad boy here. I think it's called a Grand Slam. Comes with a pork katsu right here. Comes with a beautiful fried shrimp. Comes with a sausage and a hard boiled egg cut into pieces. We have the same thing uh, Sway had, but I actually don't have any cheese, I don't have any corn. And um, still have the. I have an egg though, and I have. Do you look at this grassland. Look at these guys. Don't, don't tell me this doesn't look good. All right, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go first with the castle and some of the curry. Check it out. Oh my lord. All right, guys. Mm. Wow. All right, we've been to a couple of. Japanese curry places and this is the first one that actually brings us a really crispy katsu. The other places where you know hit and miss sometimes like they were a little bit crunchy but mostly because the other places that we chose some of them were baked that's probably why they weren't as crunchy but honestly it's delicious it's delicious I'm not gonna go for I'm gonna bite this one with a little bit of rice this one is just to taste the rice with some pork katsu again let's, let's go for it It's really, really, really good, delicious Japanese curry, and it doesn't feel doesn't feel too spicy either. It feels like it has just the right amount of spiciness, and the sweetness is on point. This is very, very familiar to one of those curries you will find in the Japanese boxes that you can buy in any Japanese or Asian supermarkets, or the ones that you can find even in, in Japan. And I know that Goku Curry is very famous in Japan as one of those fast food places that you can just go in find great curry. So right now, I'm going to go in and hit up this bad boy right here. They put a dollop of tara sauce on the strip itself, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with this bad boy. Alright guys. Wow, one thing that you can really expect from Japanese, anything that Japanese do fry, really is not that heavy. It doesn't have that much oil. It feels very light. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get a full bite of everything. Let's get an egg. Let's get an egg in this bite. I never, I have never had egg with Japanese curry before. So this is a first, first for me. Let's go. Wow. Just like the creepiness of the egg yolk. Just add a new layer of complexity on this Japanese curry. Perfect, guys. Finally, let me try a little bit of this. Right here, this baby right here. Let's try some of these. What, what you call it? Japanese sausage? Hmm. Let's go. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Mm. Oh my lord. It's good. It's smoky. Mm. You can see. Look at that. Really juicy on the inside too. Wow, really good sausage. I'm surprised. What have you thought about this place? Alright guys, so we just finished our food experience at Gogo Curry. 
amazing, ridiculously good. So wrapping up our three top spots, we did curry ya as our first, we did abiko curry as our second, and gogo curry as our third. All three places are completely different from each other. They all got different flavors. Abiko curry wins only because they can add level of spice. The other two don't do spice levels, which is great. Guys, always remember to like, subscribe, and always shoot us a comment. Just let us know any new suggestions, recommendations. We could also do a part two to this video if you guys have any other recommendations for curry spots in New York City. Even if it's not in New York City, we'll be probably in your city coming soon. Thank, Thank you for watching Tasteful Travels. I'm Sway. That's Jay. 